Hey y'all, it's the AVT Gossip Hour right now <laughs> because uh, it's going to be about, uh, I don't know his first name, but Beyonce's father, Mr. Knowles, okay? And hold on, I'm going to turn this music on. And I'm not one to gossip, but, you know, I just got into this argument, a little argument about about this homosexual thing again. I just got into it. Sorry, didn't mean to get into it. But uh, somebody started bashing Christians on this bu one bulletin board. And so I always will speak up because I'm a Christian. I believe in Christ. That makes me a Christian as far as I know. Now, y'all want to debate it, you got to talk to him. He might, <laughs> he might say different, but as far as I know, as far as I believe, I am a Christian. And no, I'm a Christian. I don't say that. I know I'm a Christian. But uh, it's only because of Jesus that I am. But let me say this. And so, as a Christian, we can't point our fingers at nobody because everybody mistake, makes mistakes. And I wanna, I'm want to. i going to gossip about a lot of stuff now. So, Beyonce knows father had just had a, a baby. Now, he just had a son. So this man, I guess he didn't have sons before. And so you never know. <laughs> you never know what goes on in men's minds, okay? Or or as it says biblically, the heart. Who knows what goes on in the heart of a man, you know? Who but the Lord, you know? He may have wanted a son, you know? <laughs> you know? And he pay, he's paying for it. So... I feel sorry for the poor man, you know, <laughs> and I did say poor because he is now paying $8,000 a month for this child and and his son. And so now he has a son and Beyonce has a child. So anybody want to say anything about me having a kid, I just ain't got caught up yet, okay? I just ain't got caught up yet. And that's my next point. I got in this thing about this homosexual debate, and these homosexuals want write-offs, right? I saw the, the, the task force, the gay, the homosexual task force, and the lady on television, I thought she was a man at first, <laughs> until she started talking. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, I saw this task force, and she was talking all this stuff about rights, and they want payoff. They want to pay off for just humping. They don't never have to worry about getting caught. They don't never have to be concerned about, you know, I mean, you know, this man, Beyonce's father, has got an $8,000 hump bill, you know. Well, humping on some some young dancer or something like that, now he's got to pay $8,000 a month. And they want a tax write-off. Homosexuals want a tax write-off for humping. <laughs> Why don't y'all try paying? You know, they get away scot-free. They can hump their mate until the cows come home. You know, and they'll, their mate will never get pregnant. And they think they got it bad. <laughs> they think that they got it bad. <laughs> They want a tax write-off. They get the hump for free and go and want a tax write-off. They want to get paid for humping. And everybody else got to pay. And, to, and then say that they equal. You are equal when you have to pay child support. Okay? You pay $8,000 in child support. And then you get to... Then you can have a tax write-off. Okay? You know what? Matter of fact, pay his bill, okay? Pay his hump bill and with, with your tax write-off, with your free tax, free hump bill, you know? I mean, they want to get for free sex. You don't never have to worry about, I mean, you can almost not, if it wasn't for AIDS, you can just go around and hump anybody you want and not worry about ever getting caught. This man lost his marriage. I saw a picture of his wife down in Rio de Janeiro without him. I bought me a ticket. <laughs> just, just saying. She fine. <laughs> just saying. You know, a Beyonce mother is fine. <laughs> I'm 
I got some photos of her around the crib right now. I bought me a ticket down to Rio. Let me order. Let me see how. Let me see if I can get an extra seat on that flight. You know, I'll bring her a suit. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I plan on having kids. You know, I'm just joking. So anyway. No, but her and Alicia Keys was down here. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> so, so, so that's the point, you know. It's like, you know, you know, try, try equal. Ain't nothing equal. You, you get caught up, lose your marriage, and it's a good thing. I heard Jay Z changed his, changed the name and took on <laughs> on the no estate, and that's a good thing because. You know, there ain't no way Beyonce is supposed to be losing no money to one of her flake ass dancers that sat up there and, and laid down with her father. You know, dang. You know, I'm all for younger men and older women, and I mean, whatever, or vice versa. But, you know, he should know better. You know, he should be smarter than that. You know, unless, like I say, and so that leaves me unless he wanted it. And so it's all a matter of perspective. So that leads me to my next point. There's a church, okay? There was a church that had gunshot fire up in the church. Some thugs came in the church. They pointed out a guy, no, pointed out two guys maybe, or one of them, 14 or something like that. Two kids got shot in the church. And everybody said, oh, that's such a disgrace. They walked into the Lord's house and act like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. The devil ain't never had no respect for God's house, okay? You know, when you have homosexuals coming up, ain't nobody complain about when homosexuals interrupted, uh, <laughs> uh, interrupted, you know, interrupted that. You know, nobody complained with that. Now, now, so don't, nobody can complain about these guys coming up there with guns in their, their church. Homosexuals come and to disturb a, a, a service is, is in no different. You know, it's no different, you know. So nobody complains when homosexuals come up there shooting off their mouth in the church. And interrupting a service. They'll interrupt services, basketball. And so don't talk to me about brazen. The devil never have no respect for nobody's house. You can't invite the devil in your house. He gonna act up. You can't. Whether he had to throw the guy Job, the devil was talking crap. He said to God, God, God asked him a simple question. He said, you know, a Job, go read it. It's in the book. He said, he said, what are, what have you been doing? He said, I've been going in and out of the earth trying to see who I can devour. You know, that's straight up, just straight up woofing crap in front of God. And God said, well, you know what? I got one for you. <laughs> try him, <laughs> you know, try Job, <laughs> you know, you know, and so he made a fool out of the iron devil. Anyway, uh, so, um, so, you know, so, for selling wolf tickets, okay, whatever. So, uh, so the devil never had no respect for God's house. And you know what? We need to stop pointing the fingers at them. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> the first thing, oh, I would say, say it like this. If you drink alcohol, sat vodka all night Saturday and manage to get into church Sunday, the alcohol is still with you. Okay, you know, you, I don't care who you, how holy the next person is or what, how holy that church, they can still smell the alcohol. Okay, you still smell like alcohol. You then drug all that alcohol and everything you did Saturday night with you. Okay, that's why I usually take a bath Saturday or Saturday or the Sunday morning. I make sure that I take a bath because whatever you've been doing the night before is coming with you, you know. And so if you out there in the street doing all kind of crap, 
just because you go up in the church don't mean that the crap that stayed outside. <laughs> you bring that in the church with you. The devil will be up there waiting for you for Saturday night. He'll be up there holding the seat for you in church. <laughs> don't think that. that. Don't think that just because you're in church, you know, you know, it's the devil there too, you know. So some of y'all inviting them in, you know, and you have to be careful. <laughs> When you when you pull people in your church, you know, you need to start. These people need to preach at you know preach to their congregation on about Friday and Saturday night. Then they won't have so much trouble on Sunday. Now though, they need to be thankful, you know, because they will drag the devil up in there. <laughs> Them guys look to see who they were after. They didn't just go blazing like these people at Columbine. <laughs> you know, they just put a darn thing on it, just shoot up, they don't care. They looked specifically to see who it was that they wanted, okay? They weren't trying to hit everybody in the church, you know. They were looking at <laughs> I saw one brother, he ducked right away. <laughs> he ducked right away, okay? And, you know, you know, God was still being merciful, <laughs> you know. You know, them kids did not die. <laughs> they did not, you know, one got shot in the shoulder or something. I don't think they did. <clears throat> and I hope that they not. But you get my point, you know. You know, <laughs> shoot, there's plenty of devils. Them kids <laughs> must have been up to the devil. You don't know who the devil really was. <laughs> God might have been, there's plenty of devils in the church. God might have been trying to get rid of a couple. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying, anyhow, uh, you know, I know that's pretty bad. And yes, nobody should disre disrespect the church. And I don't care if you're homosexual or they are darn drug, drug entourage. Don't disrespect the church because those live by the sword, die by the sword. You know, that's already said and done. Anyway, God bless you all. Sorry for the gossip, you know, but I just wanted to hit a few points. <laughs> you know, <laughs> messing around, having sex for scot-free and complaining about they, they need a tax write-off. <laughs>